Last fall, McLean's magazine published an article titled, Too Asian. It stirred a lot of controversy and criticism nationwide for its Asian stereotypes. I stopped in at the University of British Columbia, one of the schools labeled as being too Asian, to see their video response to the article. There comes a time when we heed a certain call. When the world it's an unusual response to a controversial issue. This video created by a UBC student is a response to the provocative McLean's article called Too Asian. The video has been online for about two weeks now and we have uh, over 8,000 hits. Published last November, the article labeled universities such as UBC and U of T as being too Asian. In their words, so academically focused that students could no longer compete or have fun. The article sparked such an outrage that McLean's apologized for the title, later renaming it the Enrollment Controversy. I think McLean's was sitting back thinking, okay, enough time has passed. Um, thank goodness the issues finally died down in the media. I think it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that this music video has single-handedly put the issue back into the headlines. It shows students and children lip-syncing to the 80s charity hit, We Are the World. We are the world remains, first, foremost, the very best. Taglines pop up throughout the video, poking fun of Asian stereotypes and cultural appreciation by non-Asians. So if we have something that is both a hybrid work of art and also a piece of journalism, something that works that border, then we have something that responds to an issue, as this video did, as other videos have done, but also it lasts. So then people who know nothing about the issue can still watch this and they can think, wow, this is worth sharing, this is really interesting. Sue encouraged his fine art students to respond in a creative way and for class credit. As for how they did, his response is, Effing awesome, you know what I'm saying. Monica Martinez in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.